Welcome back, everybody. Moving on to the next question. If vector u is equal to 5, 4, 6, and vector v is 4, 3, negative 8, we've got to determine the angle between vectors u and v. So when you get a question like this, they gave you these vectors in component form. What we can do is we can use the formula for the dot product. So we know the dot product between uh, u and v would equal what? The magnitude of u times the magnitude of v times cos of the angle between the two vectors. So notice that we can figure everything out in this equation except for this theta, and then we can just solve for that theta. That's the variable we're going to solve for. So if we isolate for cos theta, we basically have the dot product all over the magnitude of u times the magnitude of u. We just divided both sides by those two magnitudes. So what's the dot product of u and v going to be? Well, we can do that on the side, actually. So um, u dot v is going to be what? The x coordinates multiplied by each other. So 5 times 4, that's 20, plus 3 times 4, which is 12. Negative 8 times 6 is negative 48. So 20 plus 12 is 32, minus 48, that would give us negative 16. So we know u dot v is negative 16. All over the magnitude of u is going to be what? It's going to be the square root of the x component squared plus the y component squared plus the z component squared. 25 plus 16, that's 41, plus 36, that would give us 77. So the magnitude of u is the square root of 77. So the square root of 77 goes down here. And then the magnitude of v, same thing. So we would take the square root of the x component squared plus the y component squared plus the z component squared. So 4 squared 16 plus 3 squared 9, that's 25 plus negative 8 squared, which is 64. 25 plus 64 gives us 89. So the magnitude of v is the square root of 89. That would go here. So cos theta is basically equal to this ratio over here. And if we want to solve for theta, what we would do is we would take the inverse of cos of that ratio. And when you do this in your calculator, you end up getting something like 101.14 degrees. So that there represents the angle between vectors u and v. So whenever you get two vectors in component form and they're asking for the angle between the vectors, you want to use this formula here and solve for theta.